What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Blue Bug, back with a new series. In this series, I'm going to be playing Sims as myself, and we're going to be just, I don't know, living the Sims life. I'm playing on a big, on Bring the Parties account, so I'm like on his computer and stuff, so my voice sounds different. That is why. So in this episode, we're going to go over what my Sims are, their aspirations, their traits, and what I expect to do in the series. So, this is Noah Carone. It's me. We are a very handsome young lad. I think I'm going to have him go into the, poli the political career. But he is uh, he wants to be a joke star. He wants to be a comedian. Hilarious dude. I, I, don't, I don't know where he gets it from. Uh, he is outgoing. He's family oriented. And he's athletic. So this is what I look like. If you want to see what I really look like. Instagram's in the description. Go check it out. Uh, let's go through my looks. This I've been building him for like this family for I think like an hour or two. So this is my everyday look. I got my rings on, looking real fancy. Got the necklace. Got the ripped jeans, some nice pants, and some sh freaking earrings. My little my little non-shaved face. It usually looks like this, maybe a little bit less, but you know it varies. Okay, so let's go into my formal wear. I just did one of the classic uh, styled looks for my formal wear. We're rocking a bow tie. We're looking real schmazzy, real, real schmazzy here. Um, now we got our athletic wear. I am a fan of the short short. In real life, I am a fan of the short short. It is a look. I swear it is. I will rock it any chance I get. Now we got my sleepwear. I sleep in briefs. What do you want? That's why I sleep in. So my character, going to sleep in them. Now we got my uh, party wear, the flannel, the flannel, classic, can't go wrong, good for every occasion, got the flannel, let's go baby. Now we got the uh, the swimwear, once again, some nice short shorts, you do not want to be the guy at the pool and the swim trunks that go right past the knee, ooh, it, they, they start looking like Janko jeans, don't do it. Then we got the, uh, it looks like a puka shell necklace, always good. Now we got the hot wear. It's essentially a very similar look to my everyday wear, except now we got on shorts and short sleeve shirt. I got my rings again. I got some nice chain uh, bracelets and some uh, slip on shoes. And for my winter wear, we got, I've been rocking. It's not exactly the denim jacket I rock because it has fur on the hand, on the uh, sleeves, but my uh, denim jacket I lived in through the winter, usually with the, outfit similar uh is a denim jacket that has fur on the lining so that's what we got there and then we got you guys follow me at all we got my uh beautiful girlfriend emily emily rose she is a free well in the game uh she's my girlfriend in real life but in the game she is a freelance botanist she loves the outdoors she's adventurous and she's a little materialistic you know what it everyone comes with their faults right i it's fine i gave her a couple tattoos she has a uh, very similar tattoos to this in real life maybe not the armband it's a little rough the tribal but uh you know so our first outfit we uh i did every outfit with the same hair just because it was gonna be too much to go through it so we stuck with the space buns she has a couple nose piercings, a necklace, the two tattoos there. We're rocking some low rise and a crop top. Uh, this one, we just went with a dress with a nice belt, dark lipstick, looking, looking, uh, looking smexy. We got our uh, workout attire. I don't want her having lipstick on in her workout gear because who would do that? Uh, she, I showed her this outfit and she told me she actually wants these leggings. So if you know where these leggings are from, let a brother know. Uh, now we got her sleeping attire. I feel like it's weird putting her in underwear. So we just stuck with a nice crop top and some, uh, they, they almost look like, uh, stitched, uh, short. Then her, uh, party outfit this is literally an outfit she wore to a party with me i want to say it was new year's or something she has like these exact like uh tights that just have holes in them and i don't think they came like that but she just rocks them all the time and now she thinks the holes are a style who am i to question it they look good on her so i can't complain now we got the swimwear bikini classic some glasses once again she has lipstick on it 
the amount of me like messing with the makeup is insane that, that's probably what took me so long hot weather crop top jeans sneaks couple sneaks cold weather i just gave her a jacket i think this was one of the uh normal full outfits i just i was getting a little burnt out at this point to be honest i was getting burnt out at this point so then we got for our dog we had to get a dog we're going with the newfoundland she wants a newfoundland i could live without a newfoundland but i'm not going to question it for the playthrough maybe in real life we will but we got a newfoundland his name's mooncake after a tv show we watched together what is the name of it final space we got mooncake from final space freaking cutie watch that tv show it's amazing it, it has some real emotion in it I think we're we're on like the third season now. It's so good. It's by Olin Rogers. He's an old YouTuber. Well, he's not old, but he's a YouTuber and used to do more YouTube. Now he does more of that. But so for the series, my goal is to get us both to be, I don't know, good in our careers. I'm working on, I think I'm going to be a politician that tells jokes, kind of, you know, and the funny guy. She is going to be a scientist as that's kind of what she is in real life. But uh, she'll be that. So we're probably going to have her go into the science career. And then we got the dog. So my goal here is to, I don't know, raise a family, have fun, do a little role play, have a good time. I don't believe I made us married. And that is a great looking couple. That's what I'm saying. That is a great looking couple. If you guys want to see what we look like in real life, feel free to check out the Instagram. It's always in the description. Let's go ahead and find us a how uh, find us a home. Okay, so I haven't played Sims at all. Sims 4 in like... I don't, I don't even know the answer to this question. I guess spring, right? I I don't... Maybe winter. We'll go with winter. Because she wants to plant, but maybe if we start spring, it's already... Oh, dude, well, then you can plant all summer. But winter, you could... Once you get to the point where you can plant... Yeah, we'll go winter. Oh, there's a couple options that I need to change to. Go up here, go to game options. I want to make sure aging's off. So I'm going to do aging once we start having kids, but I feel like there's like this level of us needing to fall in love and blah, blah, blah. Disable. Uh, sim. Mm. Auto age. Enables unplayed sims. Auto age enables Sims to age over time. If disabled, your Sims will. Okay, so it's already off. So, Josh, uh, bring the party. Josh, this is his computer. So, uh, he told me that there was a certain one that he recommended that was like New England, and I'm not sure. Is that? I don't know which one. I want to say it was the one he said came with pets. So maybe that's. Brindleton Bay. He says it reminded him of New England. So that's what we'll go with. We only have 24k. I hope there's a starter home here. Is that our Sims? Is this not it? Oh, this looks like our starter home. One bed, one bath. We are right on the water. Let's, let's see what we got for a description. Does this game do that? Am I making that up? Oh, this game doesn't do that? I remember... Okay, we're going to move into the Bedlington Boathouse. I remember... Uh, was it the old... Maybe Sims 3. They would give you like a description of what the house was. I played a lot of Sims 3. I've played minimal Sims 4. Okay, let's move in. We're going to move in furnished. It's just a good way to start. I don't feel like worrying about that. Let's. We're just going to do a walk through the house. And then we're going to probably do the actual first episode of gameplay in the next one go ahead pause that i also didn't make them uh that not romanced yet so i figured that'd be an adventure we could go on together there but obviously they live together they're gonna end up i'm not gonna have them romance someone else come on so we got this beautiful house pretty tiny uh this is probably <laughs> this is probably what we're gonna end up buying at some point in the next year or two Something pretty small. Maybe not eh, one bedroom, one bath. That's really tiny, but we'll see. 
Oh, this will do the job. Wow. They, they When they say furnished, they mean bare bones. And we got upstairs. Not so bad. We'll throw a computer here. And we got a little yard, so we'll probably end up opening up a garden. We'll get that going over here. Some sort of cute garden. Place is looking nice. Nice lot. We got us, and then we got our dog, Mooncake. And I'm just really excited to jump into this. I'm going to try and upload this uh, maybe every couple days. I'm going to have to sit down and just record a bunch. But uh, that's where we are calling it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're excited for this series, let me know if you have any recommendations. I have not played Sims 4 like almost at all. I think I have maybe 10 hours, 20 hours logged with none of the expansions. So if you have any recommendations at all on how I should play, what would be some hints or tricks to this game, to this series, anything you would like to see, please let me know. Other than that, guys, I'm really excited to jump into this. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any spicy Sims 4 content. And I'll see all of you in that next video. Bye.